Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the chroma keying function in Sony Vegas Pro. So if you're using a project that's going to work with green screens and such, this video is for you. Alright, let's jump right in. Let's go to Import Media. And you're going to need two video clips for this. You're going to need your green screen footage, and you're going to need the background footage. So I'll drag in these two clips. Hit Open. And drag them in. Now just for the sake of this video, I'm going to remove the audio because it's unnecessary for chroma keying. So just delete that track. Now when you're working with green screen footage, you're going to need two video tracks. So just right click and hit insert video track. And you always, always, always want to have your green screen footage on top. So just move it on top like that. And I'm just going to shorten it so that all the clips match. Now I got this video clip from HollywoodCameraWork.com. Uh, check it out. The link will be linked around here somewhere. So uh, if you want to use footage like this, just go to that website and they got downloads and it's really cool. So check that out. Now surprisingly, chroma keying in Sony Ve Vegas is extremely easy. Just go to the video effects tab, hit chroma keyer, and then just drag one of the presets onto your clip. Uh, there's green screen and pure green screen. Now you'll probably notice that, and you'll think that they're exactly the same, but they're actually not. I'll show you the difference, even though it's pretty uh, minute. <laughs> so drag, we'll drag green screen on. And now if you notice, uh, here's the custom color. Now as you can see the channels they're all set to a little bit before the green like it could be set all the way to like these settings so that it's completely green but if that was the case then that would be pure green screen so if I remove this preset and to do that just hit this little icon here if uh, I drag pure green screen you'll see that everything is uh, already maxed out so the difference between pure green screen and green screen is Green screen has green of 255 and then the rest is zero, while green screen is uh, not quite that much. So, <laughs> anyways, it doesn't really matter. What I actually like to do is just drag even blue screen onto it, it doesn't matter, and then hit this little pick color from screen. It's this little eyedrop tool. Just click that and then click anywhere on your screen that's green or the color of your green screen. So just cl click on the green screen in the preview window and then it'll automatically pick the color and then it looks really good if you do it right so yeah that's what I like to do then you can screw around with the low threshold and high threshold so what these do is if you put low all the way up it'll show more of the video but cut off your subject usually it works like a hundred percent all the time but you might have to screw around with this if you put high down it shows more green screen and then basically low and high are just reverse so high, low threshold and like if you have high all the way and low not any of the way, then it'll look good. But if you have low all the way and high n none of the way, this is really confusing. It just won't look as good. So, yeah, usually high all the way and then low 0%. That's what I'm looking for. So low 0% and high 100% usually looks good most of the time. You can also blur it a bit, and it'll usually look good. Just not too much, otherwise you get this kind of effect. So I'm just going to keep it at the normal settings, just blur it slightly. And then if you have show mask only checked, you can see the mask only. Pretty self-explanatory. So uh, if you blur it more, it'll take away more of the mask, obviously. And then this is where you can get really precise with it. Sometimes it helps, but usually I just don't bother. Because if you uncheck it, then it just won't look as good. So I'm just going to keep it like this. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'll just blur it a bit. And then if we do a quick RAM preview, just... Whoa, okay. So yeah, that's basically how to green screen in Sony Vegas. It's pretty simple. Um if you're gonna like if you need a really high quality effect, I wouldn't suggest using Sony Vegas because this program isn't completely designed for green screening. Um I would suggest something like Adobe After Effects, and here's the rendered footage. Um as you can see, it's kind of transparent. Wait, hang on. Right there you can kind of see some of the video in between her neck. So you can fix that by going over here and screwing around with these settings. But as I was saying, if I if you're going to try and get a high quality effect for green screening, um, I wouldn't suggest Sony Vegas, maybe something like Adobe After Effects, or even one of those programs that's specifically designed for green screening and that's it. Let me just render this again. So yeah, Sony Vegas, it's good, but it's not really designed just for green screening, but it's not bad. It's not like a horrible program. Just quickly rendering this, and uh, that should be good. And it looks a lot better now. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, you can go a little more advanced with this. You can uh, incorporate some other effects and stuff, but, you know, like, 
I don't know, if I wanted I could put TV simulator, it's one of my favorites. If you put it on the background footage, then uh, she'll be, or your subject will be in front of like a TV. So, I don't know, this is like maybe if you're doing a weather channel video or something, this is the effect you'd be looking for. I don't know, I'm. it's really late and I'm tired, but anyways, I hope this video has helped you out. Uh, leave a comment below if you have any questions and I'll try and help you out. Uh, if you found this video useful, please like the video. It really helps and it doesn't take that long. So, yeah, that'd be great. And anyways, uh, thanks for watching.